What's going on everybody and welcome back. This is a interesting episode. It is going to be mystery boxes. Not one, not two, but nine of them. I cleared out the Walmart. I literally just took the entire display and just walked straight to the checkout with it. Um, I already did a mystery box opening earlier. I'm going to be posting that video and I'm going to be posting this video. I don't know which one will hit first. I think this one might actually hit first. Um, but yeah, these are at Walmart for $15.90. What is it? $15.90 something? Like $96 or something. And overall, I think they are very much a good value if you get the right packs. Certain packs are great and uh, certain packs are not. So far, every single box has had these two. And then the third one is a mystery one. So the whole mystery part is basically just the third pack. There is no mystery so far at all about the first two packs. It's all a mystery about that third pack. And there's been a couple of them that are like the uh, promo is these exact two over and over and over. I haven't seen a single other one. Okay, Dominaria. I didn't get any Dominaria, Dominaria earlier, which is weird to get them now. I guess it's just a different location. I really hope it doesn't screw me and not give me the one that I was getting earlier that made it worthwhile. I actually got collector booster packs. I got a couple collector booster packs out of it that were amazing. Okay, this isn't good. There's no mystery if you give me the exact same packs in every single one of them. If it's gonna be all Dominaria and all these, then I'm gonna be hosed. This is going to suck. Um, yeah, come on. Get, oh no. I think I got shafted. Yeah, this is not good. Because th this is it. Are not worth much. The War of the Spark is probably the most valuable of these sets right here. Dominaria, maybe. But not... Okay, yeah, this is a uh, big ol' F me right to the soul. Complete trash. Every, every single one of these is gonna be this. If this is how it's gonna be, then I am sadly screwed over by this. This, is, this isn't like the great foil, this is like a hard plastic. God, fuck me. Yep. Same exact promos and the exact same packs every single time. God. All nine packs are going to be like this, aren't they? Talk about my myth. Good old mystery. So I just got completely. Yep. An entire thing. Well, hopefully I get at least good pulls out of these because seriously. The only reason I went and bought these is because the ones I bought earlier had really good packs and a variety of packs. So this, I guess, is a warning. Do not buy these from the same location because you will be completely shafted. Look at that. Every single one of these. All of them are literally from the exact same store. And same... Oh my god, fuck you guys. What company is this? MJ Holding. Just garbage. Look at this. Just all the exact same card. Completely useless. Worthless. Garbage. <sighs> well, makes it simple, but not worth it so do not buy all of your packs from the same place because you will be shafted which is weird because i bought all the first videos packs from the same location and they were all completely different 
I don't know much about this set, so we'll just go with that. And foil land. And another uncommon. And, wait. Did I skip the, the rare? Or was there no rare? Okay, those are commons. Oh, I skipped right over the rare somehow. Okay. That was weird. Guess I'm blind as hell. I'm hoping I get something out of these to make this worth it because the packs earlier I got were Throne of Eldraine collector boosters. I literally got Throne of Eldraine collector boosters out of the packs, which made it very much worth going. Ooh, Weatherlight Captain. I don't know how much she's worth, but a Mythic is always appreciated. And especially when I'm getting shafted this hard by the freaking Ugh, man. Nine freaking boxes, all the exact same packs in a mystery pack. Eh. Don't know much about Dominaria. I really don't. So some of these I just don't know of could be worth a lot. I'm just gonna have to dig through these later and see what see what happens. Um, no idea. I mean, some of these look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, some of these of this array that looks cool as hell. Looks cool. I'm not saying it's really worth anything. Uh, come, come in tapped. Never a good land cycle when it says tapped. So maybe worth a couple bucks. Really? Come on. Man, these packs do not want to open up. But, uh, yeah. Um, I was going to say I strongly recommend getting these. Okay. That's, um, awkward. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. I was going to say I recommend getting these because getting the Throne of Eldraine Collector Booster Packs made it extremely valuable packs. Well, there's something foil back there. Oh, Ruinous Blast. And Foil Helm of the Host. Alright, um, let's put the foil up here. And come back there. Land and token. Um, yeah, I don't know... The values of any of these Dominaria, I really, really, really don't. I wasn't here playing Magic or collecting Magic when Dominaria was, uh, or Dominaria, or whatever you want to call it, was big. So, um, yeah, I have no idea the value on some of these. And, uh, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, my neighbors apparently have a kid that decides to start crying all of a sudden. We'll see how uh, that goes over. Uh, man, gotta love kids. But, uh, yeah. Do not get this if this is what you're getting. If you buy a couple of them and it's freaking Dominaria, do not keep buying them. <laughs> I would say go buy a couple of these, do a couple experimental like boxes of them. Oh. That one just ripped apart. Um, okay. I would definitely recommend buying a couple of them, checking them out. Cliff drop retreat, okay. Foil land and yeah. cool. Um You you guys might know better than I do what I got out of this, if it's good, like is the weather like captain worth anything? Um is it not? Got like what, a couple full of lands in there. Yeah, four. So, uh, I don't think I got anything that's worth a whole lot. Don't think any of it's really not good. I don't know. I don't know much. I just know Dominaria, Theros, and Spark aren't exactly the uh, highest desired sets that are out there, sadly. 
Got two mythics. I guess that's semi good. Because these are just draft booster packs. Let's try uh, the own. The uh, Theros Beyond Death. Terrible set with almost no financial value in it. Like, none of the cards in it, except for a very few. I think she's pretty good. Um, very few cards in this set are worth anything. Oh, foil uncommon. Uh, I'll put it up there. And, uh, I like the lands out of the Theros. When they're foiled like that, they're actually really cool with them. Okay, come on. Open it up. Jeez. Um, so, certain ones are nice, but, hmm, I do not like the value of, uh, this set of Mystery Booster Boxes. Hey! Yeah. Kiora Best of the Sea, or Best the Sea God. That's a nice one. Don't think it's necessarily worth much, but I, I, I played, uh, Magic together in Arena, and that was a really fun little card. And once that hits, thing is just kind of goes southward for the other player. They're on a timer of when they're going to lose the game, basically. You have a very short countdown timer. And Erasure. If you don't uh, finish off your opponent before the time is up, yeah, you will lose. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like uh, seeing me get hosed on uh, Mystery Packs. En Enigma Enigmatic Incarnation. Jesus. That is not an easy one to say. Enigmatic. Hmm. What sucks is I actually really like some of the cards in this set. It's just, financially, it's just not there. And Temple of Enlightenment. That is worth almost nothing because it comes out tapped. So that's like maybe 50 cents to a dollar, bulk rare. It's pretty much not worth even getting. And you can't sell it. It's basically just bulk. Come on, open. Man, does not want to open up. Underworld Dreams. That's a pretty nasty card sometimes, especially against certain decks. Shatter the Sky. So don't do what I do and buy the whole freaking display box and find out all you have is Dominaria. Or Dominaria, or whatever you want to pronounce it. That is what you call getting shafted. And treacherous blessing. And got two more packs of Theros and then off to War of the Spark. War of the Spark is actually a pretty good set. There is some pretty good valuable cards in there. Theros has a couple cards in there, but not much. Even its most valuable cards are only meh. And <laughs> the, those lands are not worth a damn thing. Completely useless. Worthless, basically. Um, yeah. I definitely wish I had not went and got this. And Thassa's Thas Thas Oracle. Foil Common. And that's how you finish off the... Uh, Oh, the, the, uh, Theros Beyond Death. Oof. That was a giant middle finger. Mmm. That hurt. That hurt bad. I don't really think any of those cards were worth more than a couple bucks. I'm pretty sure that, uh, Best the Sea God Enchantment Saga is, uh, worth all of, like, a couple bucks at most. So, the only chance I have to recoup my money is if I get that guy right there. Good old Nickel Bolas. Come on, Nickel Bolas. 
Oh. Finale of Devastate. That's actually pretty damn good. Okay, that's good. That is a very good Mythic card. That is not something I'm going to complain about. I will not complain about Finale. Alright. That's, if I remember right, that's one of the better valuable cards, and it's actually a really good card in general. Oh, oh. Bleeding Edge. Legionnaire. The Wanderer. Finale of Eternity. Okay, two finales, back-to-back -back Mythic. All right. Let's keep that trend up. Just keep up with all the Mythics. I'm not going to complain about that. That is uh, definitely a good way to pay me back after all the shafting of all the Dominaria. The, ooh, Nixilis. And Ravnica at War. Flux Channeler. Foil in common, and that's it for that. Oh, come on. We got this. Come on, War of the Sparks, be kind. Rewind, you know. Uh, Johnny Pride Mate, Taskmaster, Jaya, Planet Wide Celebration. All right. Don't know the value on a lot of these cards. I really don't. Um, I never played War of the Spark. I never collected it. This is some of my only packs are opening today for War of the Sparks. The other video in this one. I haven't had any chance to get really to go through and check the value. Ooh, Soren. Only the rare. Not a mythic, but that could be worth at least a dollar or two, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it's worth something. It's not like a bulk rare that nobody wants. Um, as long as you your turn, creatures and have lifelink. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, give one damage to target player or planeswalker. Okay. Well, that seems like an interesting card. An interesting planeswalker. Celebrant. Flux Chandler. Ugin. Ineffable. Not... The good ooh, foil rare, nice, Vivian's Arcbow. So War of the Spark is definitely being the nice one. That's Ugin, he's nice, but that's not the Ugin I needed. Definitely needed the bigger, badder one. And, come on, Pledge of Unity, Jaya, Ignite the Beacon, and foil. Liliana's Triumph. Two more left. And uh, that's going to seal the deal for me. I'm going to be collecting the poor man's paycheck here soon because, uh, yeah, I just wasted a crap load on these. Kiora? Karn's Bastion. Well, oh, that's a nice card, I believe. Everything you're dealing with Karn is always good. Karn is such a solid card. But, I need, I need something good. I need something good really bad. D-Spark. Taskmaster. And, Narset's Reversal. I'm not sure value on those. Reversal, Bastion, Ignite Beacon. Ugin, Soren, Plantwise Celebration, Ravnica at War. So, out of the three sets that I got, I don't know the value of the Weatherlight Captain. Depending upon that, I could be hitting really, really good or just completely zero. I got almost nothing from Theros, and I think these are good. I believe the finale of Devastation is actually a really good card. If I remember correctly, that's one of the top mythics in the de in the packs. Um, Finale of Attorney, I don't know, but I can hope that they're at least decent. And uh, the one foil rare I got was uh, Vivian's Arcbow. Hopefully that is something. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'll push these off to the side real quick. And I'll do a little bit of a surprise add-on right here at the end. 
move all these off to the side. All the mythics go up here. I picked up another thing while I was uh, over at Wally World. I picked up some Yu-Gi-Oh! Unlimited Old School Packs. So these are some from Old School, just re-brought back. I think I'm going to open one of each of these. So Blue Eyes, Forever Servant, Spell, and Metal Raiders, I guess. And I'll just leave these off to the side. Don't know anything about what Yu-Gi-Oh cards are good, which ones are bad anymore. It's been 20 years, I think, since I played Yu-Gi-Oh or dealt or did anything or dealt with Yu-Gi-Oh in any kind of a significant way. So, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. No idea if that's a good card or not. So, this is going to be cool stuff. I have no idea what it is. That is shiny as hell. Holy crap. It is shiny and pretty. Uh, hmm. Blast for your barrel dragon. Hey, I remember barrel dragon. I remember seeing it in a TV show. No idea. Wow, these packs are thin. Nine cards. Jeez. That is tiny. Wow, that just peels right open. I don't even need to put any pressure on it at all. It just opens. Um, geez, that is... Sagan Steel Ogre Grotto. I remember that kind of card. Legendary. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Ooh, that is shiny. Pretty. Pot of Greed. Good old... Hey, these are some of the cards I used to play with. That is cool. Um, let's put those up top. Good old Gaia. That's got to be the top of the top on that pack. Um, yeah. Dreamland. Go with. So we got Dreamland all shiny. Number 68, Cenophon the Sky Prison. Holy crap, that is pretty looking, damn. Super Ancient Dino Beast, okay. Black Tyranno, okay. They're kind of cool looking. It's all dinosaurs, whole dinosaurs and dragons, jeez. All right. I think that one's cool looking right there. The number 68. Don't know if it's worth anything, but it looks cool. Um, I'll just put that up there with that. And uh, opening this, let's see if it opens up like the other one does. Yeah, there's no pressure needed. It just flops right open. Jeez. Mr. Volcano, I remember these cards. Shadow of Eyes, Harpy Brother. Chain to, I remember that card. Monster Recovery. That is sick looking. That makes, that brings me back to when I used to, when I used to play Oh, I remember that. That used to be one of my favorite artworks. Just because of how it looked. Probably not worth anything. I don't think any of these are going to be worth anything. Because I'm not that lucky. But, hey, I can wish. Um, come on. There. Come on. There we go. And we'll go here. Number 105. Did they just get lazy and just go with whatever? Wow, that almost feels fake. But it is, I guess it's real. I don't know, that's weird. Big whale. Yeah, I don't know any about anything about this. Oh, I, I recognize these insects. Big insect. Oh, some of them. Hey, the great moth. Hyper metamorphosis? Okay. It's Weevil. I remember this. This used to, used to be cool as hell back when. Oh, it has a little imprint. Speed duel right there. Okay. Don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, there you go. Speed duel. Well, that's interesting. Huh. This whole selection here, all the way down. But not this one or this one. Okay. That's cool. 
um, and open these packs that literally don't require any. So I can get my finger on it. See, look at that. It just peels wide open without trouble at all. Oh, good old toll. Oh my god. Man, I've, I used to think that was the coolest thing in the world. That used to be like the best thing. Giant grenade. Nice. Giant rat. These are the cards I used to play with. Man, that is crazy. I remember thinking that was like weird but cool. Metal Raiders, huh? Man, that is crazy. Hey, first one without some kind of weird, crazy foil one here in the back. Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms. Mecha Phantom Beast. Forced. Oh, yeah, that's what you call high quality right there. It's getting a forced. <laughs> Man, oh, that was the best card in the game right there. Everybody was, man, you had to be careful. You had to be scared of it. Oh, man. That's what you had to do. Right? You go up there with the, all of them in that stack up there. Woo. This one seemed a little bit tougher to open. And the Bistro Butcher. Musician King. I remember that guy. Destroyer Golem. Trent and Starboy. Cocoon of Evolution. Yes. That's from the Moth. Pale Beast. Horseman. And Ancient Brain. There you go. That is what we call high quality. I believe these are the top ones. Well, that's one pack without any shiny foily craziness it's just the name the name is you know shiny on it um screw it just open them all i'm not gonna deal with it later so and this is the pharaoh servant one and it is sky striker mega eagle booster jesus dark greffer all foily. Rank up, mirror, arm dragon level five. I feel like I remember that guy. Limiter removal, blast sphere. I think I recognize that. I definitely recognize that from the show. Two of them in a row? Jeez. Talk about high quality splitting up. Jeez. Yeah, the rips wide open. Nice and easy. Seven completed. In Oh, that, I recognize that card. Flame Champion, I recognize that card. Bombardment Beetle. Nobleman of Exterminate, I recognize that. That is definitely something I recognize. Four Star Lady Bow of Doom, Gust, Insect. Yep, I recognize all those cards. That is crazy. No idea if any of them are worth more than like five cents. But they just, these bring back some of my childhood. Not even gonna lie. That is crazy. El Shadow Construct. Quad Shadow Chaos. Uh, rank up, Odin Magic. Black Illusion Ritual, yes. That was big. Panzer Dragon, Blast Fear, another Peril Dragon Limiter. Okay, so most of those cards are the same except for the shiny ones. Um, just ripped wide open. Share the pain. I remember these cards. Man, Feral Imp. That is uh, Yugi's favorite little card. Fake Trap. Remember that for the man. Illusionist Skull Knight. There you go. Insect Soldiers of the Sky. Gotta love the old school Yu Gi Oh! Especially ones you can recognize from the TV show. Man, that is crazy. Dark Lord Contract. Link Disciple. Wow, that is shiny as hell. Holy crap. Like this one's shiny, but this one right here, this Link Disciple. Dang. Ambition, White Elephant. I remember that. That was a fun card. Just in the uh, Trickstar Defendium? No idea. Or whatever. Galaxy Brave. 
no idea if any of those are worth anything. If anybody knows anything about Yu-Gi-Oh and wants to put something in the comments, by all means, I'll be uh, open. And uh, just, if nothing else, this was, well, oh, Spirit of the Harp, Remove Trap, man. I remember that card. I used to think it was like one of the most powerful things because big old 2,000 defense. It was crazy. Man, that is awesome. So, if you want to remember your childhood and you want some nostalgia, there you go. Go get you some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No promises on any of these being worth more than like a few pennies. I really doubt any of this is worth more than a couple bucks. It's more worth nostalgia factor than it is actually worth anything um but i definitely enjoy getting these and i'm definitely gonna enjoy sticking them in a binder god that is beautiful but uh yeah that's it ladies and gentlemen i'll catch you guys next time thanks peace